I went to a school where the term gay was used to bully people, to make people feel small. And I don't think, you know, I could have imagined that at that point of my life, when I was, when I first realised that I was gay, that, what, 10, 11, well, a few years later, let's say, <laughs> um, I'd be a breakfast presenter, an openly gay breakfast presenter on a gay radio station. I remember when I was growing up and I was bullied at school and the teachers really didn't care. It took a long time for me to actually come to terms with the fact that I was gay. At university I had a really hard time kind of accepting the fact that I was gay and I couldn't talk to my family and but I did have fantastic friends but I chose to speak to a counsellor and she was absolutely fantastic. Well I'm completely different I was bullied from the minute I stepped into secondary school to the minute I left. They used to call me fat I was a big girl so that wasn't a lie. A ginger obviously that's not changed and uh, a lesbian and at the time I wasn't sure whether I was or not. I got into a relationship with a girl and they found it was their right, I suppose, to inform my parents. So my school outed me. Um, they phoned my mum up, said I was in an unhealthy relationship with a female classmate. And from then, everything snowballed. If it wasn't for a teacher of mine, I wouldn't be here today. I took, tried to take the easy way out. It's not, you hurt those around you more than you can ever think possible. What was important to me was actually um, meeting them head on. Um, laughing with them um, because it actually belittled them and when they saw that I wasn't affected by that they actually stopped doing it. I think now especially with the social networking I think you do need to make sure that you sort of, we, we sort of get on top of it and combat that now. I think as well confide in your friends make sure you've got a good circle of friends if you've got you're close to your relatives that's such an amazing thing to have um, and those are the people that will get you through anything so make sure you choose friends wisely. One of the things that we tried to do with Gadio, kind of offer a voice, I suppose, and allow people to hear familiar perspectives and let them know that they weren't alone, it's okay to be gay, and it gets better. In later life, when I, when I moved to Manchester, you know, I worked at radio stations where the big boss did say to me, you're not going to say you have a boyfriend. I thought, no, why, why should you lie about it? You do it when you feel comfortable and you tell people that you're comfortable telling. I think it takes a long time to um, tell yourself that you're okay and the way you feel is okay and there's nothing wrong with it. Um, and at times you feel that there's nobody out there that, that can help and nobody feels like you, but there are. I mean, I'm really lucky that I actually work in schools on sort of anti-homophobic um, bullying projects. I do a project called Exceeding Expectations and it's fab, you know, because we go in and talk to uh, young adults about, you know, um, issues around sort of sexual orientation. You can talk to a lot of teachers. A lot of support staff within the schools now are very understanding. Teachers are understanding. There's better, like, obviously better training now from obviously from when I was younger, which was obviously a taboo subject. There's an amazing life that you can lead, you know, and it, and it will get better. It took me into my mid-twenties to get to the place where, uh, yes, I'm gay, um, I don't care what people say, and it, and it does get better. I mean, I'm um, now in my late 40s, um, and I have the place where I don't care what people say about me. Uh, if they, if they like me because I'm gay, if they don't like me, not my problem. Yeah, be proud of who you are. Ignore them. They'll get bored, you'll grow up, and you'll be the successful one. They won't. You can be who you want to be, and it does, and I can promise you that, we can probably promise you that, that it will, and it does, get better.